these are the steps you need to go through when you analyze a transaction to decide what goes in the journal. The first thing you need to do is to identify the affected accounts. You take the transaction, you read it, and you decide what accounts are affected by what happened. When you decide on those, you need to jot those down on a piece of paper. Don't go ahead and write them in the journal because you have several other steps to go through. Just jot down the accounts that are affected. Step two, you need to decide whether these accounts are increased or decreased. So beside where you jotted down the accounts, make a note, a plus or a minus. Number three, you need to decide what type of account they are. Okay, and make a note of this. Is this an asset, a liability, is it capital, withdrawals, is it a revenue or an expense? At this point, that will help you decide what number four is. Once you've identified the account, you've decided if it's an increase or a decrease, and you've decided what type of account it is, then you can say that account needs to be recorded as a debit, or that account needs to be recorded as a credit. Once you decide the debit and the credit, then record the transaction in the journal, recording the debit first and the credit after that.